I'm Impressive Indy Hartwell and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia and I would like to welcome you to my interview with Impressive Indy Hartwell. Hello. Thank you. How are Hi. you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. It's a super exciting weekend as yesterday we were at Rise, we have two days of Shimmer now, so how does it feel to be a part of all of this? It's great. I mean, last night the show was incredible. Yes. Um, I think it was sold out. It was the highest attendance they've ever had here, so that was amazing. I uh, had a great match, and we're here this weekend for Shimmer. I'm excited to be here because Shimmer is something that I grew up watching. I've got a lot of the DVDs, so it's cool to be a part of it now and get to share a locker room with women that I have watched for a long time. And have you kind of been picking everybody's brains the whole day? Yes, I, yeah. and I love getting feedback from people as well. Um, uh, of course, after every match, I ask what feedback people have for me, mm -hmm. and I always take it on board. So I think it's really important to ask for that. Well, I, yeah. of course, introduced you as impressive. So I was wondering, when is the first time that you were coined that, the first time somebody called you that? Um, well, last year, I had a match with Tessa Blanchard in Melbourne, which is my hometown. And I did a springboard drop kick. And then after that, people kept tweeting me saying, oh my God, that was so impressive. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, alliteration. Impressive, Indy Hartwell. <laughs> so I didn't really choose it. It just kind of got given to me. It chose you. Yeah, it, it chose <laughs> me after I did that. So I guess the springboard drop kick is what made me impressive. And uh, now I'm just impressive. No, you're just impressive in general. <laughs> what are some other nicknames that you have now that some of your friends call you or ones that you had growing up? Um, I didn't really have nicknames. Really? No. Okay. I was just boring. <laughs> <laughs> Went from boring to impressive. Yeah, that's right. Zero to 100 real quick. <laughs> Well, to celebrate the fantastic nickname that you now have, I created a little game called Impressive or Less Of. So I'm going to say a word. Less. Less of. Oh, less of. So if you like the word, it's impressive. And if you don't like it, it's less of. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready for it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, first one. Emojis. Impressive. Water slides. Impressive. Black lipstick. Less of. <laughs> the zoo. Impressive. Camping. Less of. Lip piercings. Impressive. Okay. Not for me, but other people. Think impressive. you can pull them off? I can't pull it off, <laughs> but other people can. Concerts. Impressive. And for the last one, chocolate. Impressive. Okay, so fairly a decent amount of impressive in there. There's a lot of impressive in the world. Right? Yeah. Including yourself. Oh, must feel pretty you. good that you're included in that, doesn't it? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so your brother actually introduced you to wrestling when mm. you were about eight years old. Yeah. So what was it about it that hooked you? Would you guys actually wrestle one another? Was it more such so as the characters? The characters, like the larger than life people and the storylines is kind of what drew me in. And then... I just kept watching wrestling. I never grew out of the phase. Okay. I know a lot of people watch it growing up, but then they stop watching it because yeah. it's kind of uncool. Um, but I never grew out of the phase. <laughs> I still love it. And I'm still like a fan, like a huge fan as yeah. I was when I was eight years old. And since your brother did introduce you to it, would you two ever wrestle one another? Is that something that ever happened I, I would usually wrestle my younger sister and it would end up with her crying and me oh. trying to like... Make now sure you're trying to console her. Like, yeah. I'll buy you something. <laughs> yeah, we would just like wrestle on the bed, but it, it never ended well. Okay. Well, for me, it was so cool to see that photograph that you sent out with Sasha Banks wearing your impressive T-shirt. Oh, yeah. So she just tagged you in it, like super randomly. Yeah, and she, put it, she put it on her Instagram story. Yeah. She's cool. I met her like two years ago when she was in Australia. Okay. I met her at the gym, and then she's followed me on Instagram ever since. So That's awesome. She was sometimes talks and I can ask her for advice and stuff. That's so nice to have that kind of yeah. helping hand whenever you need it. Yeah, she's cool. Well, who is another person, whether a wrestler, celebrity, musician, where if you saw them repping your merch and wearing your stuff, you would just absolutely freak out? Uh, probably. Oh, my number one is Miley Cyrus. I can't imagine her okay. ever <laughs> repping that. But um, if I ever saw Charlotte wearing, Charlotte Flair, yeah. wearing something of mine, that would be pretty impressive. I think she's a queen mm -hmm. and she's 
someone I really look up to in wrestling. Okay. So probably her. That I'm assuming, yeah, I could absolutely see you freaking out over that for yeah. sure. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> well, I have a couple tweets here that I'd love to hear a bit more about. Okay. And the first one I love because I think everybody went through this phase. And it said, 2012 versus 2018, I discovered eyebrow pencils and black hair dye. Yeah. So when you look back to photographs like that, I'll flash it up on the screen. Uh, okay. What comes to mind? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I had an obsession with tweezers. <laughs> I'll just pluck my eyebrows. I barely had any, like, years ago. I don't know why. But wasn't that the fashion back then? I think so. And now it's, like, all about thick eyebrows. Yeah. So, yeah, and for some reason, I had, like, orange hair. I th my natural hair's pretty light, anyway, and then that was just, like, a hair dye gone wrong. <laughs> and, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I prefer how I look now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And the photograph that you posted with that throwback was actually Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Was in it. So what was the what was the context there? Why were you two together? Um, I was a super fan, and I ran up to him at the airport, and I snagged a selfie with him. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I was like, sh the the photo's a bit blurry because I was like. Shaking. Oh, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's but awesome. That's how that happened. Okay. Well, yeah. the other tweet that I have here is simply, and because you, I find that you'll retweet a lot of different things, but as far as like sentences go out, there aren't a ton. So the one that caught my eye that you decided to share one day was simply, I love apples. Oh, yeah. Like, was there a reason you decided to send that out? Um, so you know Shazza McKenzie? Yes. Yeah, so I was doing a couple of shows with her on this tour in Australia and she would eat apples every day. So then I started eating apples <laughs> and I now have an obsession with apples. Okay. They're so convenient, especially when you're traveling. You can just bring apples with you. And this was something you did not discover before hanging with Shazza? Not really. She she introduced me and like she introduced her to apples. an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Okay. Haven't been to the doctor since uh, eating apples. So you're gonna keep and at it. Pink lady apples. Not, oh yeah, those I don't are like, so good. I don't like any other ones. And definitely not green apples. I don't like green ones either. My favorite is like Red Delicious. Red Delicious is good, but okay. Pink Lady's the best. Okay. No green. No green. <laughs> <laughs> are there any other foods you just won't touch? Um, I don't really like olives. Same. Yeah, I don't mind the taste, but like I don't like the texture. Like if I have a pizza with olives on it, I'll take the olives off. Me too. <laughs> um, what else is there? I don't, I've never had a strawberry. Is that weird? That, yeah. Why? Like, do you not want to try it? Are they? I'm scared of them. <laughs> All right, you have to explain. <laughs> Why? When I was little, I, I saw this picture of a kid that had eaten a strawberry, and they had, like, red all over their mouth. Yeah. And it just looked like they had blood all over their mouth. So now you just think of, like, blood and guts and Yeah, death. like... When you I, think of a strawberry? I like strawberry-flavored things. Mm -hmm. Like, this morning I had a strawberry yogurt, but... I've never eaten a strawberry. Do you plan on it? No. Probably not. No, just gonna stick with apples. Apples, yeah. Okay. Pink lady apples. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to wrap things up, I do want to leave it with the fans. Is there anything you want to say to everybody who will be viewing our interview? I'd like to say first, thanks for having me. Thank you so much. If you don't know me, you can check me out on my Twitter, which is at indie underscore Hartwell. Instagram, indie Hartwell. Facebook, YouTube, anything like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. All right, well, check her out. She is very impressive. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at alicia2.com for all exclusive interviews and features. See ya.